I have some breaking brining news for you. You should brine your fish. In the test kitchen, we brine lean cuts of turkey, chicken, and pork all the time to improve both flavor and texture. But brining fish can be beneficial too. Let me walk you through our testing process. We set up a series of tests using different brine concentrations and different types of fish. We found that for up to six one inch thick steaks or fillets, the optimum concentration was a 6% brine. That's five tablespoons of salt dissolved in two quarts of water. And the ideal time was just 15 minutes. It worked no matter the species, improving the texture of the fish without over seasoning it. As it does with meat, brining fish serves two important purposes. One, it helps season the flesh, which improves flavor. And two, by partially dissolving muscle fibers to form a water retaining gel, it helps prevent the protein from drying out during cooking. And brining works a lot faster on fish because the structure of the muscle is a lot different than that in meat. Instead of long, thin fibers, fish is constructed of very short bundles of fibers. Finally, we've found that brining can reduce the presence of albumin, which is a protein that can form an unappealing white mass on the outside of fish when it's heated. So next time you're making fish, try brining it.